Good morning everyone. My name is Sharvin Vijayan. My card matrix number is CN190254. The title I am choosing for my PSM is the development of multiple fish tank and plant system recirculation in piping design for urban aquaponics system. My supervisor for my PSM is Professor Dr. Abdul Mutale bin Lehman. So here is the introduction of my project. So due to the rapid urbanization, land resources for agriculture has been decreasing by some humans and some governments to make or build uh, some houses uh, and some companies in the land. So therefore, human population has led to an increased uh, pressure placed on the world's food supply. There are some humans really needed and suffer for the food so meanwhile the conventional techniques for cultivating plants need a substantial amount of space as well as time on the uh, 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 time on and for the labor so there is an increasing concern for food supplies that both are safe and sustainable so therefore aquaponics could be a good solution and for food security and sustainability so what is aquaponics so aquaponics is a method of growing fish and plants together in a closed system that eliminates the need for uh, need for soil. So excess fish and the uh, excess fish fishes provide nutrients to the plant, and while the plants themselves operate as a natural water filter for their habitat, the fish and vegetables that are grown via use of aquaponics are not only organic but for the fresh so um, the excrement from fish was composted and uh, used as a fertilizer for the plants and then uh, to do the aquaponic system uh, the piping is playing a major role in developing the aquaponic system so without piping uh, we cannot uh, we cannot do anything to make the aquaponic system because piping is really uh, using for the water flow uh, water flow so uh, the water flow is for uh, to grow to grow the plants and to get the nutrients for the fish so the problem statement of my project is it's really difficult to fix and there's no standard design that has proven is to be simple to operate um, in our country, there's lack of aquaponic system because some are some are really suffer to build and to fix because they are really uh, they do not how to build and the standard design. So that so the second point is that is aquaponic stuff to maintain because it demands frequent feeding, water addition, pH testing, and pump and the pi, uh, piping cleaning. So uh, without that. Without doing that, the fish and plants will die if the water never flows properly on the pipes. So yes, the objective for my pro uh, project to design a suitable piping size and better flow rate in aquaponic system. The second is to assemble the multi tanks for three different fishes. The third one is to develop a nutrient film technique based aquaponic system for urban farming that can growing up the aqua aquatic species and soilless plant in a single recirculating system. So the scope for my project is uh, to design the piping system must use the PVC pipes. So only PVC pipes I'm going to use, use for this project the second one is uh, the uses of one horsepower of centrif uh, centrifugal pump and then the third one is uh, hydroponics bed are lettuce spinach and basil the third one is for the aquaculture unit are uh, tilapia catfish and blue gill so i'm going to use three uh, three units of 100 gallon polyethylene tanks as the fish tank then 150 drum tank, 150 liter drum tank used as the biofilter tank. Then uh, the sketching is used for solid uh, in solid works software. 
I mean the design I'm going to use in the SOLIDWORKS software. And then the last one is run the test space at least 8 to 10 days to avoid from the technical problems such as leaking, uh, the pipe breaking, uh, the fish dead like that. And the literature review, review uh, where, uh, which the previous uh, researchers uh, uh, studies on this project, aquaponic project. So my first point in the hydroponic unit is uh, the there are types of grow bed unit uh, in the hydroponic. And the first one is nutrient film technique. The second one is floating the system, and the third one is blood, uh, the flood and drain. So the first, the nutrient film technique and the advantage uh, and the advantages are a little quantity of nutrients water flows through the growth uh, tubes exposing the plants root to it. The second is there is a, just a small layer of water flow that reaches uh, the root mass bottom, which is exposed to air and receive an adequate supply of oxygen. The third one is the length, channel, slope, and flow rate must be estimated to ensure the, to the plants have adequate water to flourish. The fourth is in uh, the nutrient film technique, the biofilter is critical since uh, there is no large surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow on. The last one is it could be constructed at a minimal cost and use vertical uh, space effectively. The second is for the floating rough system. Uh, the rafts floating on the surface of water are often used to support plants. The second is to extract nutrients. So in comparison, uh, the third one is in comparison to floating raft system, uh, the water depth under the raft is at least 10 to 20 inches. The fourth point is the, the fish benefit from the additional water volume in the raft uh, tank, which lessens the stress and any water quality issues. So the base, for the basic flood and drain, it is a small option to use uh, one one ratio of grow bed volume to fish tank volume in the design. Second point is the medium in the tank function as a mechanical and biological filter for the fish as well as a place for the plants to flourish. The third point is to give uh, the plants a necessary support and then fourth is the, this method provides the most yields and the fastest growth, but it's quite costly and uh, the quite costly to build. So uh, in compare with these three, uh, hydroponic grow bed unit, nutrient film technique is uh, more comfortable to use uh, in my project. So the nutrient film technique, in the nutrient film technique, water is spread over a smooth surface so that the roots may come into touch with both air and water in the same time. This thin water film about 1 per 4 or 1 per 2 inch in 5 to 10 mm is thick. So the, by the size of the plants, these channels may range from 4 to 9 inches uh, like a 10 to 23 mm in in width and 1 1.5 to 4 inches uh, like 4 to in cm 4 to 10 is deep it's uh, the previous uh, research by Ellen Petillo as reveal reveal this so in the nutrient nutrient technique you can produce a lot of plants in the nft system the biofilter critical since there's no large space helpful for uh, the bacteria to grow. My second point for the for the literature review is aquaculture unit. So um, previous researchers as studies on the aqu aquaculture unit, the first point is fishery tank are selected based on the amount of output and the kind of fish that will be employed in terms of size, quantity and design. The size is the size must be a fall large uh, to the fish survive freely and uh, the quantity is the 
quantity of fish is important so that if there's a lot of quantity of fishes it's very suitable for the it's very suitable for for the for leaf in the big tanks and the design must be a long uh, means a very length must be in very length and weight to to the fish for uh, move freely so in this project i'm going to use 100 gallon polyethylene tank so the tanks made low density polyethylene which have a high resilience and uh, approved for use with the food and recommended as material of choices in most cases so tank should be fully covered to prevent fish falling down from the tank so there is uh, the fish tank must be covered fully because sometimes the fish will be uh, falling down once the water uh, reach the top of the tank or uh, other than that sometimes if the the fish tank open means some birds will will come for the fish to catch up so it's better to close uh, fully uh, fully for the fish tank So the third point on the literature review is biofilter. So bacteria colonies and perform their function in a biofilter. So the hydral temperature and pH levels and enough uh, amounts of dissolved oxygen are all made possible by this process. Uh, biofilter is required in a nutrient film technique based on uh, channels do not provide provide enough surface area so an external biofilter should be installed um, so that nitrifying bacteria may colonize and convert fish waters uh, into the nitrate which plants can easily assimilate it so it's highly recommended that the uh, biofilter tanks capacity in anywhere between 15 to 20 percent overall volume of to the fish tank so the bottom of the tank is made up of layer seashells which acts uh, as a colonization ground for bacteria here in my project i used the drum tank 150 liter uh, as a biofilter tank so the fourth point of uh, my project is plant selection i choose three plants on my project uh, so the first is lettuce second is spinach and third one is basil so the lettuce the lettuce is a cold season crop needing growing temperature uh, ranging 7 to 24 degrees celsius with the average of 18 degree uh, celsius per second and the ph value requirement between 6.0 to 6.2 so the growing of lettuce using soilless method has lately gained popularity in south africa as a result of improvement in both quality and yield the previous uh, the previous researches has revealed that so the when compared with the typical nutrient formation for lettuce the levels uh, demonstrate that the concentration of these elements in aqua aquaponic systems are many times lower uh, than the initial concentration in hydroponics formulations so the th second is spinach so the traditional nutrient spinach is one of the best leafy green you can grow in your aquaponics field because of its nutritional value they don't have a deep roots uh, so that the nft system is a good fit um, since they can survive without a large growing bed so when growing spinach in aquaponics it is important to keep in mind uh, in mind that excessive sun exposed might cause the spinach to bolt and develop a bitter flavor so as the weather becomes hot uh, make sure keep uh, keep the spinach in, uh, under shady so the spinach pH, requir uh, requirement, pH requirement is around 6.0 to 7.0. The temperature ranging from 45 degrees to 75 
degrees. The third one is for the basil. So the growing aquaponic basil is popular among the producers, home gardeners and educators because it develops fast in the system as high yield. Uh, the previous researcher uh, Ferran Ferranzi and Bailey has revealed in 2019. So this plant has rapid growth rate uh, with the potential to sprout within five days and reach uh, our stability within 25 days. When harvesting your basil, make sure you wouldn't take the basil over one per three of the plant at a time. The pH value of basil is between 50. 5.5 to 6.5 and the temperature ranging tem uh, 65 to 85 degree celsius so this will help the plant continue to thrive and then uh, in the in the warm climate and then uh, in the warm climates so it is important to grow in a location where it receives between six and eight hours of sunlight each day so this uh, as revealed by the hand row uh, Verger on 2022. Uh, the fifth uh, point on the literature view is uh, fish selection. For my project, I have choose three types of fish. Uh, first is tilapia, and the second one is catfish, and then the last one is bluegill. So first is tilapia. Previous researches on tilapia uh, studies about the tilapia species that has shown to be most successful and well suited to the commercial aquaponic system in North America. It's revealed by Deva in 2006. For aquaponics beginner, tilapia is an excellent choice because it in case of production and adaptability to wider range of water conditions. When temperature go below 50 degrees, the tilapia will die. So from 37 to 86 uh, degrees Celsius is the ideal temperature range for their growth. Disease and uh, persist problem and they can handle uh, stress uh, fairly well. pH should be more than 6 and ammonia and nitrate concentration should be low for the, the best health and growth of the organism. So the second is catfish. The, the previous researchers on catfish uh, said mm, the catfish are the one of the most tolerant as they are able to survive a wide range of temperature, pH and dissolved oxygen uh, fluctuations. So a broad range of decrease and practices are not able to harm them and their high degree of immunity. Catfish can tolerate a uh, low dis uh, dissolved oxygen levels and high ammonia levels better than other fish, allowing, um, allowing for the higher densities of catfish to be stocked. However, this can only be achieved if water contains enough mechanical filtrations. So the ideal temperature uh, range for catfish is between uh, 65 to 90 degrees. Uh, while the ideal pH uh, range is between 7 to 8. Catfish are great choices for the beginners, aquaponics gardeners who want to grow with a, um, a fluctuating electrical supply since they are do not, uh, they, they are, they are do not um, approved or create a simple to care for. A strong tolerance for low dissolve, dissolved oxygen levels and ammonia levels allows catfish to be stocked in higher densities and with mechanical filtration. In the part, this, this is due to the fact catfish can tolerate these two elements better. The third one is bluegill. The previous researchers said because of their ability to withstand a wide range of temperature, and uh, and the delectable flesh they produce blue gills are an excellent choice for home aquaponic gardeners looking to develop crops and rare fish in a sustainable sustainable way so one of the advantages uh, of aquaponic is 
the ability of the blue gill species to adapt to wide range of temperature as a general rule you want to keep the water temperature between 65 to 80 degrees although the fish may leave temperature higher or lower than this for blue gill a ph value of 6.5 to 8.5 is the optimal uh, optimal range there must be at least 5 uh, 5 uh, milligram per liter will dissolve ox oxygen in the water to maintain the blue gel. So the the next point is plumbing and fitting on the aquaponic system. So the plumbing and fitting are very important to the aquaponic system as uh, as the connect uh, connecting the previous part. Uh, to the fish tanks, biofilter, and then to the hydroponic bed grow uh, unit. So, uh, in the plumbing and fitting, uh, is important because the what uh, to run the water flow. So, PA PC pipe are safe to use in aquaponic system. So, uh, other than that, if metals, if you if you if we use the metals, means it will become rust. So the water will go dirty, or some elements will um, will dissolve, and it's go to the uh, go to the fish or plants. So it become very dangerous for the fish and the plants. May uh, it's may chance to they die. So unicells and bulk fittings must be developed to prevent the potential leakings. So there are some fittings can uh, prevent the uh, the leakings, and then the pipe breakings so therefore the fitting is very important for the piping so the another point is water quality and so the water quality is important in the aquaponic system the nutrient and oxygen that fish and plants need to survive are carried to them in the form of oxygen and nutrition by the water it, see, uh, it seems to attract the most of the plants, fish, and bacteria. It's essential to fundamental to understanding the water chemistry. So there are three types of uh, water quality in the system. So first is dissolve, dissolve oxygen. So most of aquaponic system should have dissolved oxygen concentration of at least 5 ppm. Uh, the previous re researchers has revealed so the dissolved oxygen level should be checked uh, should be checked often while the system is new but this frequency to be decreased after the system is up and running so the amount of dissolved oxygen is low uh, use large pump so uh, to increase the oxygen level so the second one is water temperature water temperature in the system will influence the type of fish uh, so the second is that water temperature is important for optimum growth and uh, avoid uh, fish uh, disaster. So the pH value of the water you place aquaponic system is an important indication of its quality. And then it falls below six and higher seven point five. Nutrient bacteria stop generating the, the nitrogen. So uh, the last is the operation parameters. So each and every uh, the circulation as the stages. So the first is for the extraction stages. It starts. Uh, it starts from fish tank. Uh, fish tank uh, to the biofilter. So the flow is uh, naturally driven the difference in water column height or the same atmospheric pressure between the fish culture tank. Um, culture tank and the biofilter that we are capable to uh, on another it is impossible for backflow uh, to hawkers since the recirculated water in is only given to the fish tank in a horn direction pumping 180 liters of some water into the culture tank raise the water level in the fish tank as the result the tanks uh, overall volume is increased the fish waste is dissolved or suspended is pushed down to the bottom exit into the boy filter which has perforated strainers uh, for removing solids from the water 
and then uh, energy balance equation between the two tanks may be used to compute the water velocity exiting the, the culture tank. So the second is uh, filter. Uh, the second stage is filtration. It starts uh, from the biofilter to the hydroponic system. So the fish culture tanks biofilter may be found at the very bottom. Only the dissolved ammonia solution remains after the unfiltered water rises to the biofilters um, bottom layer of stones of variety sizes. In the end, the nitrate and the nitrate ions are produced by the biofilter. So the water retention is made easier to the bottom to the top filter design, which benefits microorganism long term health and as the result, the chemical conversion is, is improved. So the third stage is utilizations, which we called uh, reservations too. Uh, so uh, in the complementations, uh, the water slowly seeps out from the biofilter and into the hydroponics tank, where it's held reserved for the plants and eventually consumed by them. So grow the media, which consists of gravel and coconut husk, is put inside the plastic net pots with a diameter 10 centimeters on the house side. Uh, and an opening diameter of 8 cm. Uh, the plants are to be placed within the grow medium. So each has depth 15 cm of which half comp comprises the root and other half covered by the water that rich nutrients. The use of hydroponics tank that deeper than what is typically utilized in a, a nutrient film techniques aquaponic system animals the plants roots to more effect Effectively absorb the nutrients, allowing them to float freely in the water. So the last is recirculation. The last stage uh, process will have a already determined the most crucial component. Calibration of the automated water level sensor is what responsible regarding uh, regulating both the frequency and the water flow rate. We decided on a sum with a capacity of 200 liters so that we would have enough recirculation. So loss volume 10, 10 on is left once the high level sensor installed in the 190 liter the result the sensor of the bottom located directly will submerge the pump to prevent the pump the running dry. So after operating for 3.08 minutes and leaving the total liters of water to aquaculture tank, the rate must be two. The rate uh, will be 3,500 liters per hour. The submersible water pump shuts off level. In the tank flow falls down. The sensor position that was previously programmed. The puts again the cycle uh, once in a while. So it's the system is uh, revealed by the uh, previous researchers uh, Mohapatra at 2020. So I'm going to explain about the methodology. Okay, here is my uh, flowchart planning for PSM1. So first start the project at the start and then second is finding the research about the aquaponic system and third is contract technical drawing for our project designs and fourth the project design selection and the major parts dimension technique parts materials calls developing an aquaponics project it's well at scared at pro or not so then finalized and then fabricate the aquaponics piping system the testing project and the last one is the hand So the material chosen for my project is 100 gallon polytanin tank, 150 liter drum tank, one horsepower centrifugal pump, 90 elbow, PVC pipe, and then cross joint. So here's the morphology of design selection. Actually, there are three design designs, which is concept one, concept two, concept three. Okay, uh, to make the three designs um, is to understand the cost of production innovation as a means of catering to cost, uh, perceived needs of business, and the larger community for more in depth comprehension of many stages of the production, development, innovations, 
um, process. So using these three distinct um, approaches to innovation design, we investigated the both of the producer for the production development of innovation is a result in a major changes production process was selected for examination since it ex expected that they would be more unpredictable and complex. So, and the last we have to pick only one design to be finalized. So here is the concept one. So uh, the concept one was developed with the improved horizontal condition. The hydroponic bed is to keep on the playable a support structure. This indicates that people are responsible for ensuring the resources uh, such as money. So materials and missions are utilized in effective in order to accomplish the aims of energy of the project. The centrifugal pump is the only mission that used in the concept for the run to uh, the water flow. So the materials used in the systems are three gallons for the tank, the three different types of fissures, PVC pipes, seashells and gravels for filtration unit as shown as in the figure. So based on the design one concept, uh, I, uh, I can conclude that the cost of to build concept one is not so high as in concept two and concept three. This is because it just utilizes a single centrifugal pump and it's compact makes the cost cheap and delivers maximum result. Okay, this is my concept two. So when compared to the concept one, which is differentiates itself based on the site of the cultivations and the technique used, the concept two is not that, uh, that, that not that much different in the ways. So the concept design with the same system where the centrifugal pump uh, transfer use the water from the fish to tank to the biofiltration tank and then disperse it to the hydroponic system uh, in three stages. So because of the gravity, it will be flow through all three layers of hydroponic bed, which is constructed in parallel downwards uh, before being dragged back to the fish tank. For missioning, the uh, same as in concept one, we are using one centrifugal pump and used uh, uh, three, three units of under gray polyethylene tank, PVC pipes, under 50 liter drum tank, and stair structure support made the stair structure support made of PVC pipes, seashells, and gravels for the filtration unit as shown in, fig in this figure. So, developing the system around the concept should be not uh, probably expensive due to the fact that it makes of new approaches while retaining the same basic unit cost the prior approach did is. It is possible that the technique will be succeed since the plants are given a steady supply of water resources. This is my concept tree. The concept tree is slightly different if we compare to the concept one and concept two. This concept is used six stages as for the plantation uh, in the hydroponic bed with support of stand structure Moreover, the biofiltration tank is kept on the table as a support, uh, the support structure which wa the water flows goes to the, the pipe as downside and connect to the fish tank. So it's slightly long scale pipe used to the system compared to the concept one and concept two. The system is still using a single centrifugal pump. The materials is used in the system are 100 gram polyethylene tank. Uh, uh, the under 50 drum tank, the PVC pipes, concentrical pump stand as support structure, table support structure, seashells, and the gravels as shown in the figure. It is clearly showing that the using of large scale of pipe system, due to the large scale of piping system, it's certain that it will able to generate a substantial amount of product that may bring in a profit. Okay, uh, in the comparison in design selection, this is the table for the design comparison in design selection. So in all the design, we use one, one, one manpower and the mission is same, so one horsepower of centrifugal pump and the materials are the quite differences you can see here. And then the last, the total about uh, the total money of design one, design two, design three is for the design one is uh, 
722 ringgit 50 cents the design for the design 2 1756 uh, 50 cents the third design is 1777 so this is my finalized uh, design so the project final design is chosen based on the examination of the morphology four components which are human machines and material and money as the result of the study talks with the project supervisor this project will be proceed with the concept design one this said the uh, you can see the design in the uh, in the diagram so this design was chosen because it makes easier for consumers to get information they need its construction cost comparable to those all the three design concept and the total number of plants growing units in also rather significant with 32 of them overall okay uh, this is the project uh, flowchart of project planning first start and then findings research about the system second is construct the con uh, the technical drawing for project design the third is project design selection the fourth is ma measure part dimension identify parts materials cost of developing aquaponic project and then approval from the supervisor and then finalized and fabricate the aquaponic prepping system the te then testing the project and thus is the end so this is um, my project budget so the re recycle item costing purchase item costing and the total costing so i've clearly uh, exposed exposed here so for the recycle item costing uh, for uh, 100 gallons for eating tank 150 liter drum tank and 100 of power centrifugal pump so this um, total is 1655 ringgit for the purchase item costing the items are the pvc pipe size 2 pvc pipe size 3 the 90 degrees elbow 2 size 2 the 90 degrees celsius elbow size 3 then the cross joining size 3 the net power hydroponic seashell levels so altogether is 67.50 ringgit and the third one is total costing the total costing is uh, recycle xt uh, this recycle item costing plus purchase item costing so they will last uh, the total costing is 1722 ringgit 50 cents here is the last testing and fabricating the aquaponic system so first we can do the measuring process so before we cutting so the second is uh, cutting process once we do the measure process we can cut the pipes and then the third one is framing process we can do the framing once we cut the process once we, we once we done the cutting process and then we go to the installation process uh, to fix the aquaponic system so thank you uh, from me, that's all.